Hi everybody, welcome to Penfinity. My name is Was72 and today we're going to talk about um, how to analyze the object you want to 3D model before 3D modeling. Because it's uh, often uh, really tempting to gather reference and just uh, set up blueprint and start 3D modeling. But in my opinion, it's not always the best way to start. Um, you need to, to figure out, um, to do a, a little study of, of the subject you want to 3D model before you start it. So today I'm going to show you how I, uh, how I do this. So this is the, the 3D model. Of course, I'm not going to show you how to 3D model. Uh, 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 I'm not going to do a video on this one because uh, it's going to be a little bit longer. But just to show you, um, this is a, a project I'm currently working on. So this is the, the head of the snake, as you can see. And I managed to make it um, a repeatable pattern. But I'm going to show you uh, how I analyze the, uh, the object first um, to 3D modeling. So let me put this reference. So this is the reference I have. Let me put my stylus. So when you want to 3D model a subject, you have to uh, think about um, the topology. So how, uh, where you're going to put vertices and why. And the best way I found uh, to do that is simply to open the image in uh, the image editor you use. And let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put that in black. And I'm going to lower the opacity and create another layer. And with that layer, let me put a green color, for example. Put it to five. Okay. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to figure out the, uh, the topology. So I'm going to start drawing like this. So for example, this is the center. And I'm going to think about uh, where, oops, where I will put some uh, uh, vertices. So for example, let me draw the contour like this for this one. For example, I have this. I have this, I'm going to take this here. Maybe the smooth is a little bit too high. Let me Okay, let me draw the contour like this. Let me draw this one. Okay, so when I have this, I'm going to think now when I'm where uh, I'm going to put vertices and how many I, I will need it. So let me change the color and create another layer. And for example, I will have a vertices here, a vertex here, another one here here, here. To be able to create this curve, um, I will need another one here and for um, one here. And in, in the continuity of this two one, I'm going to put another one here. So let me select this one here, another one here. So, as you can see, we have a transition like this. So I will need a vertex here, here, and maybe one here. So, and now I go back to the edges and I'm going to start connecting stuff and try to see where, where the, the vertex we uh, cut the edges. So for example, so uh, I'm going to put this one here, for example, and, and I continue like this to
put vertices. The goal uh, is to um, plan in, in advance your trading modeling. And I found this, uh, this technique uh, really, really useful because it, it allows me to predict um, where the, my, uh, my faces and, and mesh will go. Of course, it's not the absolute truth. You will have sometimes a be, um, when you when you in it, uh, you will find a better way to do it. But it will give you um, a really good start to estimate uh, how much uh, vertex you will need, uh, um, and you you will have less guesswork to do. So, if for example, uh, uh, you start drawing the the topology and uh, you can create multiple version of it, it uh, and compare and see what uh, uh, what will be um, much more effective for the project. So, um, okay, let me, for example, I'm going to continue here. I'm going to continue here. And of course, uh, you will need multiple reference. For for example, here I'm I'm showing you only only one photos, but you will need um, multiple photos of of the same subject to compare where the topology go and um, if it's uh, if it's um, good enough with with the reference photo you have to uh, to to create uh, the proper topology. So, for example, I have this. Let me. Oh, I put in the wrong layer. So let me redo that. For example, draw the contour. You have an edge here, but as you can see, this edge is uh, really round. So you will need two of them. You will need one here. And another one here to be able to create the the nice curve here. You see, and by doing doing that, you will have another edge loop here. And you change and and you start building like this. Of course, you don't need to uh, to go over all the the objects you want to 3D model. It just just to give you um, a good start, and after that you can uh, uh, you will be able to, to to estimate much more efficiently the uh, how many edges you will need for this. For example, on this one, it curve inside like this, so. I will have something like this. So for that, I will need um, a, vertex, a, a, a vertex here. Uh, it will go inside. And with that, I will have to curve it that way. And it will generate um, another edge here and as you can see um, it start to become uneven so you will have to maybe put it here for example and delete this one and put this one connect this one whoops connect this one here not too much. This one here and remove this one. And continue building. And you will start having something like this. So as you can see here, it will be uh, evenly distributed and and you can continue like that so this is the the thing i um when i have to to 3d model 
uh, an object. I, I do that first when, when the object is complex, of course. It's if uh, a simple object like, uh, I don't know, screw a bolt on something really cylindrical. Um, you, you don't need to go through, the, through this process, but this process will allow me to first analyze, uh, the object. So it will be a study and it will stick in my mind, uh, much more than going straight into 3D. And, um, the benefits of doing that is, uh, it will allow you to memorize the object. And, uh, for this one, I was able to do it without, uh, um, the, without having a, a, a reference all the time in, in front of my hands because I, uh, I figure out the best geometry. And after that, I, I just, uh, watch the, uh, the reference to, for the proportion and stuff. But by doing a, a study before of the topology, it will allow you to, to, to memorize it and, um, do it better so from not from really imagination because you will need the the reference anyway but by doing this freak frequently it will increase your your visual library and it will allows you to um don't have to to set up all the time um blueprints in every view to 3D model, you will be able to, to see the object in three, three dimension and start 3D modeling, uh, uh, properly. So this is it for this one. I hope it was informative. So in the second part, I will start, um, I, I will, uh, uh, read one properly to, to show you, uh, how I, I set up mine and start 3D modeling the the first part so you will be able to see it so maybe i, I will do a uh, time lapse for that because it will not need a lot of explanation so as always if you have any question don't hesitate to to contact me on instagram at pen underscore affinity and on my email info at penfinity.com so see you soon for the next part